brave astronauts. I would like to read an ex excerpt from former President Ronald Reagan regarding the Challenger disaster. We've grown used to wonders in this century. It's hard to dazzle us. But for 25 years, the United States space program has been doing just that. We've grown used to the idea of space, and perhaps we forget that we've only just begun. We're still pioneers. They, the members of the Challenger crew, were just pioneers. This morning we stand here to remember the heroes who were the members of the Challenger and Columbia crews. We remember the efforts they made and realize that they will never be forgotten. As their dreams intertwined with their own, we live, they will live on in our hearts forever. To all of all the members of the Space Shuttle's Challenger and Columbia, you have inspired us, touched us, and we thank you. For as long as the sky is blue and the wind blows, you will live on in us forever. Ladies and gentlemen, I would, thank, I would like to thank you so much for coming to this ceremony. This concludes our ceremony, and if you would, please join us in the singing of the Air Force song. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. Here they come, zooming to meet our thunder. Adam boys, give her the gun. Give her